Hi, this is Nathan, your Neighborhood Arcade and Pinball Talk Guy. And today we're going to be talking about pinball manufacturers and what they do to protect their consumers, but also to protect themselves. Uh, that said, a lot of pinball companies now uh, have to do things to not only protect liability, uh, but they also need to meet certain safety requirements for selling of their products to be fully insured through their insurance carriers. So again, with that being said, there's different ways of doing that from UL, which is uh, Underwriter Laboratories, to CE, uh, which is an EEA, uh, European Economic Area designation, which allows you to sell products through Europe. Uh, again, CE meaning they have met requirements for safety and regulation of health. Uh, UL is the same thing. Uh, other companies take different approaches, which are actually fully insuring in the millions of dollars product uh, safety for liability claims. Uh, so that said, there's, there's no real easy way to say what's right and what's wrong. That is on the consumer and the buyer. Uh, the first thing that I would say is as a buyer of pinball machines, uh, you know, you want to kind of look at a company and how they actually deal with their, their customers. If there are issues, do they quickly resolve it? Do they have high feedback? Are they delivering a, product, pro, uh, a quality product? Uh, do you see it and operators have it on the floor and they're still working, et cetera, et cetera. There's all these things for you to do. But UL and CE and bonding as far as insurance, uh, those are things that you want to kind of know. So we went ahead and did a little research on this because, again, we want you, the pinball community, to understand what the manufacturers are doing to protect us, which is the pinball community. Uh, the first person to respond was actually Charlie over at Spooky. Great guy. He said, uh, per him, uh, we carry millions in product insurance and ULCE testing is not required specifically for their, their games. And so what he's saying is we are fully protecting our company. We are fully protecting you, the consumer, through multiple millions of dollars of product liability insurance. So that said, that, that's a good business owner, right? Uh, I went ahead and I reached out to Stern. Zach was very quick on the trigger, too. He responded almost immediately to me. Thank you, Zach. Uh, he said, Stern is UL and CE approved. Uh, meaning they meet all designations, not only for the United States, but for Europe. And, uh, of course, we didn't dig into product liability insurance, uh, but just assume. Uh, American Pinball Duval uh, stated, all games are CE approved. Again, their, their market is obviously in Europe. They sell a ton in Europe and Australia and a bunch of other places. So they're meeting the criteria of the EEA, Euro European Economic Area, and that's their designation as CE. Uh, Chicago Gaming, thank you, Ryan White, for reaching out to me. I truly appreciate it. Thank you for the privilege to actually talk to you. Uh, he stated uh, that ULCE approved for all Chicago Gaming games. Uh, so, again, these are things that you want to look at. Jersey Jack, uh, there's been a lot of things happening, obviously, uh, with Jersey Jack at this point, but we did not get a comment from Jersey Jack, not saying that they're not UL or CE approved or have designated product liability insurance. Jack uh, or your marketing people, please reach out to me and or comment on this video if you are designated so just make your comment on there so people are aware when they're researching games to buy i did also try to reach out to suncoast twice uh no no response there from suncoast so again suncoast uh if you're ul ce designated and or have product liability insurance uh please make your post uh, and please comment and or make a statement stating what you are. Because again, this is just to help the pinball community, nothing more. This is to let people know what manufacturers are doing to not only provide a quality machine that is electrically uh, going to deliver so there's no fires and issues and stuff of that nature, but that's going to be meeting the health requirements per each uh, individual country to make sure that there's nothing that will maybe sicken uh, someone uh, specifically. So again, thank you for everyone that responded uh, from all the pinball manufacturers. We truly appreciate it. Our, our format is talking pinball, good and bad. Uh, but, uh, you know, we're not here to harm people. We're here to bring up key points and ask questions and to get manufacturers involved in this process because it only makes you all better. Uh, but it also helps the community out. We don't want the community hurt and we don't want y'all hurt. Y'all run businesses. They buy. They spend a lot of money from their hard work on your products. So we want everyone to win here. Uh, so thank you for those that did respond. We truly appreciate it. So, again, uh, to the community at this point, you know, do your research on these pinball manufacturers. Each one's going to be a little different. Some smaller, some bigger, some uh, medium size. They're all going to carry different insurances. 
they're all gonna carry different designations. Research those pieces there and see what fits your criteria. You don't want someone that doesn't have anything because if they don't have anything, how does that protect you from your house burning down if the machine catches on fire because it's not rated properly? I mean, again, these are all things to think about. So do your research and after you do your research, choose the manufacturer that you feel is best based on customer service and then buy your pinball machine from there. And I, I tell everyone this, I mean, do your research before you buy it. You could be stuck with a lemon if you don't. Uh, but anyway, we, we truly enjoy you all watching our videos. Thank you again for your time. I hope this research that we have done answers some questions that have never been posed before about pinball safety, as well as what things to look for uh, in the pinball community for these pinball manufacturers to make sure you're getting a quality machine uh, that will, that that will tell the task of time. Uh, but anyway, again, like us, follow us on our social media formats, Arcade and Pinball Talk on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Click subscribe down below. If you like pinball, if you like virtual pinball, if you like arcade in general, do us a favor, join our family. Just click subscribe right now, help a brother out. We don't take any sponsorships at this point. We're not getting paid for anything. So help us out there and just show your support for our stance on pinball. Uh, again, this is your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy, Nathan, signing off. Thank you again for watching today.